So, are you here to see the wonderful and limitless horizons? N no? So, maybe you're here for me? Or also no? You're, you're just here for the mod. Oh. Okay. So, to start off the video, we're going to visit the irishshaders.dev webpage. Once you're on this page, you will then go to the download now button and then click the download universal jar button. So getting things installed is quite simpler now than it was before. First, you want to select a version. Here we are choosing 1.20.4. Then check the use distant horizons beta version. Just pretend you don't see the warning. We then want to select the iris plus fabric option and then we click install. Once the install is completed, you will then see all the needed mods in your Minecraft mods folder. There is one other mod I wanted to add and it's called the Terralith mod. This will make the new worlds we create look much better than the vanilla Minecraft worlds. Just make sure you download the 1.20.4 version. Just in case you're wondering, all the links will be listed in the description of this video. So after confirming that all the mods are installed, we would then open our Minecraft launcher. As you can see, we already have the Fabric Loader profile active, which we can use to run Minecraft with the Distant Horizons mod. So once we're in Minecraft, we can go to single player world and we can actually create a new world. So I'm gonna make it creative because I don't want to struggle with the struggles of survival. So if you see this warning, just ignore it and click yes. That's pretty much it. Uh, we have a working world with distance horizon. So to kind of see if it is working, just fly up. It does take a while to render. Like it takes quite a while to render. So depending on your PC, it'll render fast, it'll render slow, but uh, eventually it'll start building out the world. If you do want the chunks to load faster, you can go to options. Then click on the new Distant Horizons button on the top left corner. Then change the CPU load to anything higher than low impact. This obviously depends on your PC specs, so change with caution. So if you made it this far into the video, consider dropping a like, maybe even clicking that subscribe button. Now that we have the world rendered, let's enable Bliss Shaders. To enable the shaders, we would go to the menu, go to options, go to video settings, go to shader packs, and then we will select bliss shaders. Once you've selected bliss shaders, you would then click done. Just be in mind, this will take a few seconds. And now we finally have a nice looking Minecraft. Let's see how it looks during the daytime. And there you have it, looking good as it should. And that will be it for the video. If you ever wanted to know how to set up a Minecraft server on Bisect Hosting, click on this video. And until next time, see ya.